who was uh, from Burma. He spent five years in jail uh, fighting for democracy and human rights in Burma. And he now lives in Buffalo for the last 10 years. He's a great man. He's an activist here helping out the Burmese community. He has his, a laundromat on Massachusetts Avenue. He's a friend and great ally. He's all win. <laughs> trying to speak how I can. I'm not very well good speaker. I start learning English while I'm here. Before United States, while I live in Thailand, I try to learn. I have some experience about speak English. In my country, we are still under control of British Sakulune under more than 100 years. But in high school students start learning speak I spend my time only I'm in high school, I'm not politician, I don't understand about politics. Mm -hmm. In last twenty-three years ago in nineteen eighty-eight, the whole country we are under control of dictatorship. And we got nineteen forty-eight independent from British Colonia. A few years, nineteen sixty-two. One of the dictatorship, they took the power. Uh, he used one party system, socialism. Only one party system, everybody followed to him. The country is totally, not 50 years ago, neighborhood country, Thailand, India, they came in walking my country, looking for a job. After 50 years later, right now, totally different. A lot of my people across the border, we, Went to their country working like the slave labor. No document, no protection law in Thailand. Before United States, I lived in Thailand over 10 years, not legally. Very difficult situation. Mm -hmm. Also, when I live in Thailand, I want the, you know, human trafficking. I'm one of the victims of human trafficking. I live in Thailand and the city of the Bang capital of Bangkok. Uh, one guy he came to in explain about Malaysia, how you speak English, you you can speak Thai. After two years, whenever I arrive to I learn native language. Very important thing to solve some problem for if you can speak their language. Uh, very difficult when I start arrive to Thailand because of when we are not legally we, we see the police, everything they ask, we cannot un understand their question, we cannot answer, that's more difficult. That's why after that I try to know, oh, we need to learn about language. Okay, I write down how to say what <coughs> call, everything on the paper, I learn about when the police meet, what they ask, how to answer, I try to learn. After two, before two years, uh, like the, uh, I live, I work in, like the migrant worker, I work in Bangkok. The guy who, they came to explain, we pay $10,000, no, time money. You pay, I bring to, without passport, visa, anything, but I, he said, I can bring to you over there. You can work me more, 10000 only one month. I'm interested, oh, good money. That's why I plead to him, I pay 10000 for money. He bring our group with fishing boat, under control of the fishing boat. Uh, we are hiding under the fishing net. Mm -hmm. Nobody see, but about 20 people under the net. Unfortunately, we cannot reach to the Malaysia uh, because they make contact the guy who not waiting. We are coming back to Thailand, waiting another chance. But unfortunately, we cannot go in to reach. He, the guy, he had so many problems before our group, he bring to another area. Uh, you stay here about one week, I come back to bring you rich of sun back to Malaysia. Okay, we are stay only one night, we are sleep there. Next morning, the fishing boat owner, they wake up, go to fishing boat. No, we, they said, he said only one night, uh, a few days, we are stay here. He come back to, no, I paid 3,000 everybody. 3,000 for each. If that's me, he sold. 
He took money, 30,000. Uh, yeah, 11, 33,000. Only 3,000 baht our life. We had no chance to account. We are not, we are not legally, we cannot speak their language. The whole group, by force, on the fishing boat. The first time my life in fishing boat, this on the seasick, you know. I never on the sea, seasick, within three days. I cannot eat, I cannot drink everything we bomb. After three days, I make decision. I want to jump up in the sea, I gave myself. I cannot stand, I try outside, I remember, within a minute, I remember my mom, I remember my college in prison. When I finish my prison life, I fled to, I, I promise everybody, I will be continue fighting for freedom, for right, for justice. I promise, when I fled, they are staying in prison, they are more than, uh, I only five years, they are 10, ten years, 20 years. But they stay in prison. Before we, I know when I will be released, uh, we talk each other, each, everybody. Okay, I promise. I stay fight as long as I can. Before I jump out on the sea, I remember all I promised. I control myself. Stand up. Why you get up? You promise your friend. If you make I come back on the roof, I try to stand, I try to take water a little bit, I save my life. Also, we are start running. Next morning we are stand up and start walking. Everybody, uh, other people just only for money, they can be working at the same situation. They have not a knowledge, a lot of uh, low educated, you know, no knowledge, uh, they are not, a lot of people are they live in the village, village side. I, 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 I was born in village side, but I grew up in the city, I'm going to school, the people are going to school, more understanding about all situation, about human rights. A lot of people, they don't know about low education, they don't know human rights, anything. That's why the, the whole group I try to lead in how to be save our life. Uh, within two day, uh, two weeks, we can cause a lot of fear when we come back to the city. I try to find out my escaping way, how to escape. I don't want to go back again. This is a really <coughs> hard time in my life. Maybe sometimes I ask him uh, who before our group they said they are six months, one year they never go back to city. They, they are uh, the, some fishing boat owner. They have three, four, five the fishing boat. Uh, this one uh, go back to city and they come back and they already and then the worker they switch to this boat not go back. They are all the time six months one year on the sea. If I thought I learned about all history about this worker like that and the one guy he said he six months he never go back to city and the sea. If my time I be like that how I can be? I'm not stay like for not for money. You know. Here uh, we can make money, but I'm not happy, I'm not still alive for money. I, I need to be free then, just uh, mm -hmm. That's why I, I try to lead in the whole group, HP, save life. Now I, can, but I try to find out, escaping with how I can be go back to the, the bank. Of how much the, the, the guy who owns, he pays some money, I cannot use. Some people, Use uh, a lot of this area, a lot of people, uh, they cannot afford their life. They got money, they use drug, drinking, uh, only three, four days, and then they go back to again, they come back, one, one man, they got about 1,000, 2,000. Nobody didn't know they are still alive or dead. A lot of parents, uh, they are hopefully, the parent or do, uh, the son or daughter, they are still alive. Actually, they are already dead three years ago. Mm. But nobody knows. Mm. Like that uh, can, uh, situation of my country, uh, when I started prison, just I said I understand about politics, just only freedom for ju justice, 
uh, no student union in my country. I'm high school. I want to. I found the student union. We need to be the group, the people group, uh, power, unity. That's why I start forming the student union in my high school. <coughs> One day arrest me about this occasion. So only high school, you start leading about organizing the unit, uh, union. They thought they asking the military intelligence and uh, intelligence. They asked me make so many abuse and torture. They asked me who is your leader. Who guide like you? You doing something like that? Oh, no, I said nobody guide like. Just I'm, I'm thinking, or I reading, or asking about some politician. You know, I asking uh, learning history of the country. And I need to be freedom or justice. That's why I do it by myself. No, if I say something for I don't they torture so many. Do uh, if I answer for example, I say someone name. Okay, they release me. They will be rushed to him, or is it yes, or right, or not right. They didn't know. Just they want to know my answer. Okay, they go to arrest this guy for general man or former politician or something. The old guy. If I say their name, they go back to arrest.